You ready, Sally? Grimoire, I've been standing here for seven and a half minutes. Just checking. Do you have the map? Uh, yeah, but it's basically blank. Did you read the case file? What do you think? I'm not sure yet. It's really not a lot to go on. Did you read it? Yeah, I'll read it on the way to the crime scene. It's a bird bath. Is that just rainwater? It looks a little weird. The birds seem to like it. They're even singing a little tune. Please don't do that. What are they? Wind chimes. Silent wooden wind chimes. And it's full of the same weird water that was in the lake. Any fish in there? Not a single one. Although there is something in there. It's a cassette tape. Or it used to be. I think it's supposed to look like that. It's an egg. Oh. What? Oh, there's an O on the floor. Oh, yeah. Tangle Tour. Tour. Is that an envelope? It's been opened, but the letter's still in there. Let's read it. Isn't that an invasion of someone's privacy? No, oh, definitely. Should we ring the doorbell? Why would we not? It's a little melody. Do you think he'll start to move if we try to go inside? No, I think he'll just silently judge us. Big letter F. Of course. Who doesn't hang a giant banner of their initial in the lobby of their mansion? This one has a big P. That's P... probably important. How very p perceptive of you. It's a big glass tube filled with water. There are weeds in there, and sand. It's an aquarium? Could be, except there's nothing living in it. Anymore. There 
it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fillo. So, what, Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. All of Freya's paintings are this creepy. Maybe it's just because she never got to finish it. There's something wrong with the crime scene, and something really weird about the murder weapon. We didn't find a murder weapon. portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, because Freya put it there. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because Freya put it there. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, but it was removed from the scene. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood, because Freya put it there. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. fellow is holding a knife tipped with blood because Freya put it there. Nope. Flora's portrait is holding a knife tipped with blood because it stabbed Freya. What? Weird, huh? You think Freya was stabbed by a painting. Not by the woman from the painting, but by the painting itself. Mm-hmm. Freya was standing right up by the canvas when she was killed. There's blood on the knife. It's the murder weapon. Right. But it's not actually a knife. It can't stab. See any other knives around here? Case closed. The case is not closed. And even if you were right, where does that leave us? A painting can't be a murder suspect.
supposedly Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. Supposedly, Freya was working on the painting when she was killed. Looks like she was still holding her paintbrush and palette when she fell. Didn't even get a chance to clean her brush. There it is. The unfinished portrait of Flora Fellow. So, what, Freya was killed halfway through painting it? Looks that way. Flora... fellow? Hey, sorry to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Nothing. What do we do? Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. to barge in. I'm sure you're still in some distress. We need to ask you a few questions, I'm afraid. Did you witness the murder, Flora? Nothing. What do we do? Not sure. She's entitled to her silence, I suppose. For now. Is there anything you'd like to tell us, Flora? I don't really know anything about you at all. I think that's the way she likes it. We'll just have to ask other people about her. Yeah, okay. Freya was painting your portrait yesterday. Is that right? Was this something you had planned with her ahead of time? Was there something special about yesterday? Did you talk to Freya at all while she was painting you? She's not going to answer us, is she? Nope. But at least we can say we tried. Flora, you were definitely in the room at the time of the murder. Surely you must have seen something? Can you tell me anything about what happened to Freya? She's acting pretty suspicious, if you ask me. I don't know. Maybe she really doesn't know anything. How is that possible? Anything we should know? Any hobbies? Besides staring out the window? Were you close with Freya? How are you two related? Did you kill Freya? Grimoire! What? I don't even think she's listening. Oh, she's listening. Did you ask Freya to paint this? Or was it her idea? What is that you're holding in the painting, Flora? Some people have been saying it's a knife. Is 
Is that an egg? An egg with bird feet. It's also covered in gemstones. What a completely ordinary object. I think it's a container for something. Those gems look like they come off. Did you check the clue on the back of the egg? I'm pretty sure it explains where to put each of the gemstones. That's the one. Hey, not bad. Did it unlock? What's in there? Nothing. Nothing? Well, I'm not leaving without a clue. An empty egg is a clue, right? Flora, this is your egg? Why do you keep it locked? Is there supposed to be something in there, or is it always empty? Is that a gramophone? I think so. Except it's got a tape deck instead of a turntable. It's also got a big crack down the middle. What about the cassette tape? Sure is. Pink. Do you think it still works? The gramophone? Yeah, we could give it a go.
Is this your gramophone? Do you know why it's cracked? metal plaque on the bench. Is there a message engraved on it? I think there was at one point. But someone scratched it off. Is that a clock? If it is, it's a clock with four faces. I'm guessing it doesn't tell the time. So what does it do? So, moving any of the hands turns the adjacent hands in the opposite direction. It's like cogs on a machine. That's the one. Hey, not bad. What's in the box? A little tool thing? Looks like a telescope. But I'm not actually sure what it is.
Whoa. Nice cape. You're not fellows or pointers. I'm sure I shall immediately regret asking. But who are you, and what is your business here? I'm Sally, and this is my sidekick, Grimoire. A uh, private detective, Grimoire. Really? You're a detective? If this is a joke, it's not a good one. <clears throat> who are you, anyway? Private Detective Hawkshaw. Oh, nice. Hawkshaw's a cooler name than Grimoire. Maybe I'll become her sidekick. You're not on the Freya Fellow case, too, are you? That is classified information between myself and my client. Clearly, this is something which eludes you. But a real detective refrains from handing out information to persons unknown. Oh, right. Now, if you would, I have work to do. It's not in my interest to discuss personal details. Even if you're one of the suspects in a murder? <sighs> Very well. Let us make a small exception. Ask. Well, what are you doing here? I'm on a case at the behest of my client. How long have you been at Tangle Tower? 133 hours. Uh, five and a half days. Who are you working for? I am not at liberty to answer that. Now, I shall permit you one more question. What crime are you- How'd you get that scar? It's cool. You really think so? As it happens, I completed an examination of Flora's room on the morning before the murder. I've been investigating every single room at Tangle Tower. Hers is one of the last on my list. Did you find anything unusual? Nothing but a thin layer of dust and an atmosphere of somber melancholy. Was Flora in there at the time? She spent the duration of my search staring up at the sky, out the open window. Didn't say a word, although I'm told this is the expected behavior. What did you do after that? I spent the early evening searching the library. It took longer than it should have. Fiona leaves that room in a permanent state of disarray. Fiona was in the library too? I expected her to make an appearance, but she did not. And you stayed in the library the rest of the day? Not quite. Towards the early evening, my examination of the library was unexpectedly disrupted. Sounds of running, wailing, shouting from several floors above. I vacated the library, but before I could begin my ascent, Professor Pointer appeared. He emerged from the Pointer staircase, crossed the hall, and begun up the fellow staircase. Our eyes met. He was breathless. Something had caused him great alarm. He told me to stay out of the way. I consented. I decided to return to my office in the Stone Square. As I was passing through the front door, Penelope called out from behind me. She was clutching the banister of the Pointer staircase with an apprehensive manner. She wished to know where Professor Pointer had gone. I told her what had transpired. Then, she too crossed the hall and disappeared up the fellow staircase. More so than at any moment prior, I felt like quite an intruder in the house. I took my leave, out towards the stone square. The grounds were silent. There were no signs of human life. Even the greenhouse was without its typical inhabitant. I noted that he, too, must be entangled in whatever was transpiring in Fellow Tower. An unremarkable hour passed before the gardener finally made his appearance. He spoke to me of what had occurred. His report was as clumsy and cumbersome as the man giving it. Did he seem upset? He was rattled. That much was clear. But sorrowful? Mournful? I cannot say. Quite the stoic statue, isn't she? I can only dream of being as cold and indifferent as Flora Fellow. You think she's hiding something? Perhaps. She has some strange habits. I heard she barely sleeps, an hour here or there, sporadically. Spends the rest of her time staring up at the sky. 314 cases solved. 314? Freya Fellow is of great interest to me. I perceived her to be the most intelligent individual here at Tangle Tower. Within a day, she had identified for whom I was working and for what I was searching. I didn't know how she did it. I was impressed. 
I regret that I did not question her more thoroughly when I had the opportunity. You couldn't have known she was about to be killed, though. I have only myself to blame for failing to perceive the signs. What signs? I do not wish to do your job for you, detective. Tangle Tower. No idea why they insist on calling it that. It's not even a tower. It's little more than a pair of turrets stuck on either side of a mansion. Have you... searched the whole place? I believe so. Why? He wants to know if you found any secret rooms. Huh. I'm afraid the residents of Tangle Tower are far too ordinary for anything like that. I was disappointed, too. <laughs> you truly consider this a case file? What's wrong with it? No organization, no system. That's my style. I like seeing everything laid out at once. Yeah, it helps me think. How quaint. Where'd you dig that up? It wasn't buried. It was underwater. Someone trying to conceal evidence, perhaps? Conveniently left anonymous. It's useless until you can prove to whom it concerns. Can you do that? No. No. Makes quite an impression, doesn't it? Although I can't imagine why she painted Flora wielding a knife. You didn't see a knife anywhere in Flora's room, did you? I did not. I conclude whatever stabbed Freya must have been brought into the room from outside. Unless, of course, it was the painting itself. Surely you don't believe in that kind of thing. A detective's job is to examine every avenue of thinking. The paint is still wet. Yeah, well, we know Freya was in the middle of painting when she was killed. Do you know that? How? Because you were told? You got it open. I'm impressed. I managed it myself yesterday. I thought Flora might be hiding the... Hiding something in there. It was empty yesterday, too? It was. Perhaps it's always been empty. A somewhat cumbersome device, and an altogether inefficient way to listen to music. What kind of music do you like, Hawkshaw? I, I like anything. What a cop-out. I believe that was in Flora's room yesterday, but it was not cracked when I saw it last. This belongs to you, Hawkshaw? Correct. And, uh... What is it? It's my handheld microscope, for up-close investigation work. What do you magnify with it? Trace particles, dust, oils, clothing fibers. Have you used it here at Tangle Tower? I have. I used it to examine the greenhouse only two days ago. What were you looking for? That is between myself and my client. This one's in a little pot. Okay, that is definitely not edible. It looks like a gemstone, don't you think? A little chart of... Uh, Actually, I have no idea what it's about. Kinda reminds me of a periodic table. Great letters, I think. Kinda reminds me of a periodic table. What do you make of it? Not a whole lot. Sally, don't move. We're being watched. Yeah, I see him. 
He's a little too big to hide in the bushes. Is anyone going to say anything? Or shall we just stand around staring at each other? Right. Sorry. Sorry. That's better. I'm Sally. And the guy hiding behind me is Detective Grimoire. Who are you? Fitz Fellow. The gardener. Mm-hmm. And why are you so tall? I don't know. You work here, as the gardener. I don't get paid to do it. It's just my area of interest. What's the deal with the plants? They're all kind of weird. Right. Did you see the lake? That giant green and purple lake surrounding the entire house? Yeah, I clocked it. The color is just a byproduct. Of what? Poison? It's not poisonous. Not to you. Uh, what's this got to do with the plants? The water controls all life, just like anywhere else on the planet. Clouds form, rain falls. The water grows the plants, animals eat the plants. Anything you've perceived as an irregularity is simply a result of this hydrological cycle. Could you say that again, but like, condense it, as if you were talking to a slightly stupid person? Our lake water causes the unpredictable alteration of DNA, sometimes. Alteration? Like mutation? That'd be the official term. For us, it's normal. Just nature. And you're the local expert on all this stuff? No. I'm just the gardener. I was in my greenhouse, watering and weeding. Sounds exciting. Was anyone else around? Not at first. Penelope came in a little later. She likes looking at the flowers, I think. Did you speak to each other? A little, not too much. We both left the greenhouse in the early afternoon. I went up to my room. Then I came back outside to weed the main gardens. Didn't see anyone else. After that, I went up to the garden outside my room. And? Let me guess. Watering and weeding. Right. Did anything happen to you yesterday, Fitz? I was up in the rooftop garden. It was quiet. And then, it wasn't. I can't describe it. Could have been a scream, but it didn't sound human. We thought it was coming from Flora's tower, so we went up there. We? Poppy was with me. Did I not mention that? Flora's room was locked. That's normal. She usually locks it from the inside. I knocked on the door and shouted. Nobody responded. We became concerned. You kicked the door down? I did. Poppy and I went in. Freya was right there, laying on her back. Flora was there too, but I barely noticed her at first. Poppy left the room for a while. When she came back, she had her father with her, and Fifi too. Penelope arrived shortly after that, with Felix in tow. I thought that was odd. You don't normally see the two of them together. Felix took charge. There was nothing else I could do to help. I wanted to go back to my room, but I realized nobody had told Detective Hawkshaw anything. I found her pacing back and forth around the stone square. When I approached her, she snapped at me. I think she was annoyed about being made to wait outside so long. But when I told her about Freya, she fell silent. I like Flora. I hope she's all right. Do you think she had anything to do with the murder? There's no way. She wouldn't willingly cause any additional suffering for anyone. She questioned me. About what? My work, the plants, a bit of everything. Did she search the greenhouse? No, she didn't. You sure? Maybe she did it when you weren't in there. No, she hasn't touched it. How can you tell? Trust me, I can tell. She was always kind to me. She'd come into the greenhouse when I was working, sometimes by herself, sometimes with Poppy. I think they were just bored at first. Eventually, they started asking questions. About what? Poppy wanted to learn about flowers. Freya, she used to ask me about the insects. Insects? 
One of my jobs is to protect plants from things that might eat them. Freya brought me this little glass box, leaves and twigs inside. She'd say, put all the troublemakers in there. Every day I'd put a handful of beetles and other things in the box. Then she'd come along and take it away. I didn't really understand her, but she was always kind. Have you met this guy, Fitz? Shifty eyes, doesn't say a lot. Totally suspicious, if you ask me. That's... me. Yeah, that's... It, it was a joke. I was joking. Oh, I see. Nice painting. Gives you a pretty good idea of the layout. The lake looks like it forms a perfect circle around the island. It might seem strange to you, but nature is quite capable of producing perfectly geometric forms. And those mountain cliff things around the outside? We don't know much about them. They're unscalable. Not even Freya could have gone up there. What's that? This painting. It's speculative. There are no photographs from this angle as far as I know. So Freya just made it up? Let's call it an informed estimation. Who gave you that information? Uh... Well... We don't actually know who it was. We were contacted anonymously. I see. And what happens if the person who contacted you turns out to be the murderer? I... never thought about that. Honestly, that would be kind of fun. Like a twist, you know? That looks like it might belong to Poppy. How odd. What do you think that is, in Flora's hand? I don't know. It does look like a knife, but Flora wasn't holding anything at all when I saw her, after the murder. But there's something bothering me. Something else. What? When we went into Flora's room, she wasn't standing in this position. Well, she probably would have moved around a little bit by then. She wasn't standing at all. She was kneeling on the floor. There's something off about this. What is it? Why don't you take another look at Flora's room? You think we missed a clue up there? Not exactly. It's an egg, with feet. It was locked, but we opened it. But it was empty. Fun story. That belongs to Poppy. So why is it up in Flora's tower? I'm not sure. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. You ever seen this before, Fitz? No, but I don't normally go into Fifi's room. That's not where we found it. Oh, I just thought it looks like it belongs to her. This is a good example of how things work. I mix that soil here in the greenhouse. It's made with water from the lake. And it makes the fruit grow all shiny and gem stony? Sometimes. You never really know what's going to happen. And what do you do with this shiny and edible fruit? You look at it. Fitz's room is unlocked. It's up in the Fellow Tower. This could be interesting. It's a little handmade card. Someone's drawn a heart on the front. Inside it says, To Fitz, from PP. That poor plant. Looks pretty healthy to me. Healthy, but sad. I think it would rather be outside. An empty glass and an empty plate. Looking at it is making me want to cry. Why? I don't know. Hello. Not hidden very well, is it? Doesn't need to be. It's locked. It's a combination lock. Sort of.
Nothing. Maybe if you move the paper around, you'll find a clue. Neat. Anything in there? Yeah, it's wrapped in a cloth. Hold on. Huh, that's kind of ominous. It's locked, but it leads outside. I thought we were halfway up a tower. We are. What's that thing by the handle? Nothing. Still locked. The tiles have all got that same sun symbol on them. Those moon symbols in the slots, are they connected? Maybe they're connected, but also not connected. It's not budging. Maybe the information we need isn't here. So where is it? Somewhere else. Let's come back once we know what to do. Freya's painting supplies. Freya's painting supplies. We're at the top of the tower, right? I think so. Why? 
doesn't matter. It's nothing. You ever see a mushroom that big before? Not in real life. It's a big stone dais. Biggest one I've ever seen. First one too. I'll say this, he's well suited to physical labor. That's a nice way to put it. Fitz spends most of his time alone in the greenhouse. But I heard he's been breeding experimental flowers in secret. Whoa, scandal. I just wonder if he's getting restless. The people here are surprisingly materialistic, considering how sheltered they are. Materialistic? Growing this fruit simply because it produces a gemstone-like material. For what possible purpose, other than financial gain? You're speculating. What would you do, Grimoire, if you could grow valuable stones straight from the earth? This is a potential murder weapon, is it not? I don't know. I don't think the murderer would leave the murder weapon just lying around. I think you'd be surprised as to what people leave lying around. Paints? Yep. Paints? Mm-hmm. Tools. Used by a gardener. For gardening. That's a handsome beetle. Looks like he might have magic powers. This is yours, Fitz? Yeah. Do you use it? I keep all my tools in the greenhouse. That wasn't what she asked. Paints are different to flowers. I'd say so, yeah. At any time, flowers can bloom with perfect, faultless colors. Red, blue, white. With paint, once you've tainted a color by mixing it with others, not even the most skilled painter can return it to its pure form. Baskets. They're so high up. To you, maybe. You're only two inches taller than me. Two inches makes all the difference. hand-painted statue. How can you tell it's hand-painted? Well, the paints are right there on the desk. Also, I mean, no offense, but you can just tell. Yes. It's also a lamp, for some reason. 
nice. A real treasure chest. How do you know there's treasure in there? Why else would it be locked? Plus, there's a treasure map hanging directly above it. What's the deal with that painting on the front? Not sure. We should check that treasure map, too. Nothing. Did you check the treasure map for clues? And what about that painting on the chest itself? I did it. Why do I win? Not bad. What was in the box? More wooden models. These are a little different to the one on the desk. Sir? Can you hear me? I'm Private Detective Grimoire. I have some questions for you. Grimoire. Good mysterious name. <laughs> I'd rather like it. Felix Fellow at your beck and call. And, uh, this is my colleague, Sally. Yeah, that's a perfectly good name as well. Thanks. If you would, Mr. Fellow, we really need to ask you about the murder. I must say, I'm rather jealous of you two. Oh, yeah? Why's that? Out here solving mysteries, <laughs> exploring new places, uncovering secret rooms, hidden treasures. That's what life is all about. Secret rooms? Uh, gently speaking, you know, that sort of thing. So, Felix, what exactly do you, uh, do? Is it not obvious? I'm an explorer. Explorer slash treasure hunter. Yes, well, best in the world. We're talking like curse statues, spike pits. Uh, it's a little more sophisticated than that. But I've certainly seen my share of danger, if that's what you're asking. And, uh, if I may ask, uh, 
When did she retire? Uh, you listen here. <laughs> I may be between ventures right now, but it's simply not in my nature to stay in one place for too long. I go wherever the winds of destiny take me. Don't you live here with your wife and daughter? Yes, well, the fellow family has certain loyalties. And with uh, Flora the way she is... Uh, Nothing wrong with raising a family, Mr. Fellow. <clears throat> Don't misunderstand me. Fiona and Flora are my entire world. They are the greatest treasure of all. Uh-huh. So why on earth would you want to know about that? The murder of Freya Fellow. The reason we're here. Ah, right. Uh, nasty business. Uh, very unfortunate. <clears throat> I, I regret that I can't be of any help, uh, but I wish you all the best in your investigation. Hear that, Grimoire? We're done here. Let's go. It's a simple question, Felix. Well, I'm sure you're up to it. I just... it's... well, there's not much to tell. Uh, mostly, I was in my room by myself, uh, working on Flora's, uh, uh, working uh, on a project. <laughs> Your room is quite close to Flora's tower. You didn't hear anything unusual? What qualifies as unusual? What have you got? It was dusk. A feeling lingered in the air. Malevolent, perhaps. Uncertain <laughs> as life itself. A bridged version, please. Right. Fine. I heard someone heading down the stairs. Just outside my room. The footsteps were calm, orderly. So I thought nothing of it. Shortly afterward, I heard a second set of footsteps going the same way. This time I could tell just from the sound that something was wrong. So I looked out into the hallway. I got a glimpse of Poppy disappearing down the staircase to the floor below. <laughs> Didn't know what to make of it, to be honest. I thought perhaps she'd had a disagreement with Fitz, as I know those two are close. So I looked into his room, just in case, but it was empty, as was the garden beyond his window. Back in the hallway, I bumped into a very concerned-looking Penelope. She was heading up Fellow Tower to find Professor Pointer, so I escorted her. We went into Flora's room. Poor Freya was laying on the floor. Fiona, Poppy, Pitts, and Pointer were there already. Flora, too, of course. <laughs> Soon enough, everyone else made their excuses and left. Including you? Not I. <laughs> I stayed. Flora needed me. Dearest Flora, a remarkable woman. <laughs> Been married over 20 years now. You two still get on? <laughs> of course. What a question. She hasn't gone quiet on you. It's true, she has an independent streak who's uh, had it her whole life. She's the youngest of three. Always something of a lone wolf, you know? Just the way she is. Lone wolf is putting it lightly. She doesn't seem to want to talk to anyone. She just likes time to herself. Uh, away from the company of other humans. Other humans? Other, well, yes. Uh, uh, other people, you know. You're the one currently basking in his presence. <laughs> you tell me. Let's move on. Quite the character, eh? A fellow member of the Order of the Crimson Cloak. Is that a real thing? Uh, no, I just meant to, because we both wear, you know, red capes uh, of a sort. Has she questioned you yet? If you call that questioning... <laughs> She seemed bored by everything I had to say. I heard on the grapevine. Supposedly, Hawkshaw is searching for some rare item. Something called the Golden Beetle. Honestly, it's probably a bunch of sensationalist rubbish. You reckon? Quite sure. 
There is no treasure called the Golden Beetle. How do you know? Because I would have heard of it. Uncommonly skilled as an artist, but Freya was so much more than her talent. She helped me get started with my own painting, you know. It taught me what she knew about wood carving, too. Tremendous patience. She was ever so good with dear Flora. Freya and Flora were close? Oh, yes. Especially after, uh, especially recently. How are you related to Freya? Somewhat distantly, as it happens. Uh, my father, Lord Fellow, was her grandfather. Uh, technically, that makes her a fellow. Let's just say, uh, there was some discussion over whether she ought to carry the name at all. Uh, there's a family tree in the Grand Hall. Uh, you should take a look at it. What about her inheritance? Freya's parents died when she was around three years old. She came to live here shortly afterwards. Nobody left her a thing? I'm afraid not. She had no formal claim over anything at Tangle Tower. Fitz? I don't trust him. He's slippery. Never commits to anything. Brain like an onion. An onion? Did you two have an argument? No, oh, no. Uh, but my daughter doesn't like him at all. And I trust Fiona's judgment entirely. She's a very vigilant young woman. Charming, isn't it? Yes. Built by the Remington family originally. Dear Flora's father and his... Uh, <clears throat> associates. But now it's owned by you? By the Fellow family? The Fellows and the Pointers have both come to claim a certain degree of ownership. And who named it Tangle Tower? Uh, Flora chose the name. <laughs> what does it mean? I think it was her intention that it uh, mean nothing at all. Uh, something of a fresh start. From what? This really isn't for me to say, but she had some kind of disagreement with her siblings. <laughs> After they moved away, Flora changed the name of the house. I think perhaps she hoped it would make them feel unwelcome, and is less likely to come back. That's kind of extreme. <laughs> yes, it is rather, isn't it? <laughs> What's this? It's my case file. It's how I know what I'm supposed to be doing. You mean to say you're bound by the limits of what's written in this little document? Uh, sounds dreadful. I found it comforting. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. I'm as confused as you are. It would have been a beautiful painting. It's, uh, rather a shame Freya was unable to finish it. Nothing about it seems strange to you. Well, all these uh, modern paintings are slightly strange, aren't they? The emotion of the piece taking over from, say, uh, anatomical accuracy. <laughs> what about the knife in Flora's hand? A knife? That's what you see? You don't? Well, as I was saying, Freya's artistic approach distorts certain shapes. Hard to say exactly what we're looking at. Hmm. It's unlike her to leave paint on the brush. I think we'll give her a pass, given the circumstances. Ah, yes. So we shall. Does Flora normally keep something in here? She must do, but I admit, I've never managed to work out what. Why not just ask her? I feel like if somebody keeps something locked away in a ceramic egg, it's because they don't want to be asked about it. <laughs> Rules to live by. Flora's quite fond of that old thing. <laughs> it's in poor shape, though. Do you know what happened to it? Can't say I do. That looks like it might belong to Poppy. Why don't you ask Fiona about that one? Looks like her area of expertise. That looks like it might belong to Fitz. I've never seen that before. Looks valuable. 
Looks like Freya's paints. Do you know why the parts are cracked down one side? No, that's very odd. They're normally in excellent condition. You seem pretty sure about that. I've been carving for a couple of years now. <laughs> I was hopeless when I started, but it didn't take me long to master it, as, as you can see. Do you paint them yourself, too? I do indeed, yes. Uh, Freya kindly taught me the basics. Nowadays, I can make just about anything I can imagine. Of course, this particular model is a self-portrait based on hard fact. Hard fact, huh? So, you own a sword, Felix? Uh, of course, I own a great many. Uh, but my weapons are stored well away from Tangle Tower. Um, um, safety first and uh, all, all that. Uh. Ah, you found it. What, um, what do you think, huh? I had to rush the final touches a little bit. It turned out all right, though. <laughs> What's it supposed to be? It's Flora, of course. Surrounded by all her favorite people. Hammock. It's kind of worn out. I would politely describe it as lived in. We already solved it. tell him not to quit his day job. But he hasn't got one, has he? These figurines remind me of a case I once solved involving a possessed doll. Turned out to be a bit of a smokescreen, as these things often do. Your life sounds fun. Grimoire, why don't we ever have fun adventures like that? Are we not having a fun adventure right at this very moment? Pointless little stone tower. I don't know. Might be a good hiding place. Wanna play hide and seek? I could be persuaded. really something. Why would you want it looming over your bed like that? Maybe Freya enjoy the atmosphere it creates. The atmosphere of chaos and oppression? Hang on. There is a smaller version down by the floor. It's a photograph. of lamp I choose for my bedroom, but fair enough. It's cool. Looks like old mining equipment or something. It's a little wooden box for paintbrushes. To the casual observer, maybe. They're not real paintbrushes. Looks like they're part of some kind of lock mechanism.
There we go. Perfect. What was in the box? Just a photograph. Well, most of a photograph. illustrated book about birds. That's been left open. Looks like somebody was halfway through reading it. Or it was left open for us to find. Ever so slightly unnerving? Is that a snow globe? of sorts. Hey, look at that. It's a model of Tangle Tower. There's a lake and those weird mountains. What are you thinking? That would make an amazing souvenir. about space. They're relatively untouched. Books about insects. Well, theoretically. There's not a single book on that shelf. Huh. Books about geography. Skip. Books about ancient history, I think? These books are ancient history. I think they'd crumble into dust if I tried to pick them up. Good excuse. Thanks. Books about geography. Skip. It's musty in here. What exactly does that mean? What is must? Must. You ask such stupid questions. Nice. Curious. I would expect bacteria of that nature to thrive in these conditions. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Taking all the environmental factors into account, there must be something I am still missing. Uh, may I talk to you, miss? She knows we're here. She just doesn't care. I am a detective, and I need to talk- Correction, you do not need to talk to me. Oh no? How come? Because I am not a suspect. I am completely innocent of any and all crimes. Thanks for letting me know. Speaking of which, you have now been at Tangle Tower for over 23 minutes. Surely you have already reached a sturdy hypothesis. A hypothesis? About the murder? Yeah, come on, Grimoire, hurry up. My apologies. Unfortunately, protocol dictates I must at least meet all the suspects. And that includes you. So, uh, could you tell me your name? Fifi Fellow. Microbiologist, inventor, innovator. You will need to be more specific. One's self cannot be summarized in a single response without doing one a great disservice. So true. 
Well, first of all, you're a fellow. So does that make you the daughter Correct. of- Correct. My father and mother are named Flora and Felix, but you need not question either of them. It will only waste valuable time. Neither of them are capable of murder. Thanks for the tip. Fifi, you said you were a micro... something or other? Microbiologist. But it is an insignificant label. My studies cannot be categorized in any one recognized field. What made you want to become a scientist in the first place? I harbor an intrinsic fascination with the microscopic. I constructed my first one at age 10. Constructed... a microscope? Correct. And what's that thing on your head? Did you make that too? My eyesight began to deteriorate when I turned 12. Not satisfied with the eyeglasses prescribed to me, I designed this custom lens instead. It automatically adjusts based on the surrounding light conditions. Does it glow red when you get angry? No. But that would be most amusing. What can you tell me about the murder? What can you tell me about... Wait, that's what I'm supposed to ask you. Yes. However, you were too slow. You fancy yourself a detective too, Fifi. I just need to know what happened. Me too. So talk. Fine. I knew ahead of time that Freya was going to be busy with her painting all day, so I had planned to spend the afternoon with Poppy. I was in the library all morning preparing the equipment for an experiment, only to find out that Poppy had made other plans and she was in fact planning to ignore me completely. Oh. So what did you do instead? I locked myself in my room and cried. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Why? I don't know, it just sounds kind of sad. It is not unusual. Oh. Good. I was in my room. The lights were off and the door was locked. Someone began banging on the door. I ignored it. Until the someone began shouting at me. I opened the door. Poppy came into my room. Her makeup was leaking. She told me Freya was dead. I did not believe it. I thought she was playing a trick on me, so I punched her in the face. She insisted that we go up to Flora's tower. We left the room, and Poppy's father was waiting outside. He followed us upstairs. When I saw Freya lying on the floor, I was completely and utterly devastated. Then, I took a sample of the red paint on the unfinished painting. Poppy and I took the sample back downstairs to the library. We performed a test and found out that it was, in fact, blood. You performed that scientific test immediately, even though you were feeling so upset? Of course. Why would one affect the other? Name, Freya Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, artist, deceased. Understand this. Most people find me difficult. They exhibit a noticeable degree of discomfort when talking to me. Ah. Uh... There it is. Freya, who had a way of being an exception to any given rule, was not at all like this. She is very important, and I will not rest until I understand what has happened to her. Did you spend a lot of time with Freya recently? I will say this. In the past year, Freya became, one, increasingly independent, and two, increasingly isolated. Do you know why? I do not. If you are looking for a speculative, empathetic opinion, try asking Poppy instead. The three of you are friends. We are of a similar age, and all highly gifted. One scientist, one artist, and one musician. Sounds like quite a team. Name, Flora Fellow. Age, 44. Profession, unknown. Likes, unknown. Dislikes, unknown. Uh, isn't she your mother? How do you not know anything? I believe other people may have discovered methods of reaching her, but I have little capacity for interpreting nonverbal communication. And how long has Flora been... Uh, nonverbal? She has always been quiet. Willing to speak when necessary, but not more. So what happened to make her stop talking entirely? She suffered a great loss. Something she has been unable to move beyond. Name, Felix Fellow. Age, 53. Profession, none. Likes, 
collecting objects of negligible monetary value and assigning them personal value. Dislikes, the inescapable realities of human existence. Notes, Felix is my father and legal guardian. And, uh, is he a good dad? I have no point of comparison, but I would say no. No? Why not? You asked me a binary question. Do not get upset that I provided one of the two possible answers. What makes him a bad father, Fifi? He has trouble expressing his emotions, and something of a willful detachment from reality. Huh. Just like you, then. Grimoire. No, no. He is quite correct. Name, Fiona Fellow. Age, 19. Profession, amateur microbiologist. Likes, the meaningful archiving of information. Dislikes, the superfluous window dressing accompanying the majority of human contact. Notes, kindly disregard the polysyllabic form of my given forename and refer to me instead as Fifi. How come you prefer Fifi? How come you prefer Grimoire? How are you related to the other fellows? Fitz is my cousin. His father, a man named Flint, was my uncle. Was? I do not know if Flint is alive or not. He left Tangle Tower a long time ago. And what about Freya? How are you related to her? We share exactly one grandparent. Name, Hawkshaw. Age, unknown. Profession, private detective. Likes, quote, being left alone. Dislikes, quote, being constantly badgered by a weirdo nerd with a clipboard. Name, Fitzfellow, age, 24. Profession, cryptobotanist. Likes, soil, dislikes, electric lights. Hang on, cryptobotanist? I thought he was just a gardener. That may well be his preferred label. Mine, however, is more accurate. Do you and Fitz not see eye to eye, Fifi? We do not. Well, I wouldn't have thought so. He's well over six foot and you've got to be just barely five. So what's your problem with him? Exactly one week ago, I witnessed him sneaking up Pointer Tower. He was making every effort to avoid detection. So? He was also carrying a knife. What is your opinion of Tangle Tower? Oh, it's impressive. Elaborate gardens, unique architecture. Must be worth a fortune. Why do you ask, Fifi? I am the heir of the Fellow family and the Remington family. This makes me the sole beneficiary of Tangle Tower. That's quite an inheritance. They can't make you do anything, Fifi. If you don't want the house, just tell them. Or just sell it. Who cares? You sound like her. I require facts. What do you know? Well, we know Freya was stabbed with a knife, and then she found- Correction. She was stabbed with something. There was no knife found at the crime scene. Apart from the one in the painting. Which, as a mere abstract representation, does not count. Nobody has ever been stabbed by the concept of a knife. And this belongs to Poppy. In fact, she owns a number of cassette tapes. What happened to it, though? It has been left underwater for an extended period of time. Right. But why? I do not know why. Hmm. Curious. Freya is normally highly skilled at capturing someone's likeness. But in this painting, she has accidentally made Flora look quite young. I think she was just being kind. Why is that kind? Anyway... I'm far more interested in what Flora is holding. I performed the test on the red paint myself. I discovered that it was in fact not paint, but blood. What made you want to test it in the first place? It was Poppy. She told me she thought the painting looked like a bloody knife. I told her not to be ridiculous. My mother owns no such knife. But then I noticed that the color was slightly too dark, and the substance itself was overly viscous. You noticed that just from looking at it once? Of course. The red paint on the brush is not paint. It is blood. Same for the palette. So Freya added the blood to the painting herself? Or blood got on the brush and palette some other way? I do not know the answer. That belongs to my mother. 
I think she must be fond of eggs. There are a number of egg-shaped carvings to be found in the garden and in the Grand Hall. Yeah, uh, what's the deal with all the eggs? Some people... just like eggs. The gramophone belongs to Poppy, but I believe she gave it to my mother, and my mother often loaned it to Freya. Or maybe it is the other way around. When did it get cracked? I cannot pinpoint it exactly. All I know is that it must have happened sometime in the last two days. <laughs> is she laughing? This belongs to Professor Pointer, does it not? No, I don't think so. Well, who else would own such a pointless little telescope? It's a telescope? Oh, yes. It has a telescopic lens. It could only be used for looking at things that are far away. The fruit here has a unique chemical makeup. It makes them completely pointless. Unless you wish to cut it down and sell it as a precious stone. It's not edible? Depends. On what? On the structural integrity of your teeth. That blade. Uh, it's a troll for gardening. It is. Fifi, did you test the red paint in this pot? Yes, I did. I discovered it too was blood, not paint. A whole pot full of blood? Not a whole pot. It is only partially full. Yeah, but still. Doesn't that freak you out? No. In fact, it may be considered rather reassuring. A wooden carving of my father, made by my father. Although, now that I look at it, I do not understand how he was able to paint the red parts without any red paint. It is a model of Freya, made by my father. A model of Flora, you mean? And a man with a beard. And a little red and white creature. Why would my father make a model of Freya? I believe Freya was attempting to communicate something through this painting. Any idea what it was? I am not the person to ask. All I see is a blood-red mountain with angry storm clouds brewing above it. As such, I cannot ascertain any meaning from it whatsoever. This photograph is my favorite photograph. So, why'd you rip it in half? That was not me. Besides, it was not a half that was ripped off. It was only a third. Do you know who was reading this book? It belongs to my mother. And she left it in the library? No. My mother has not been in the library for some time. Hmm. Fifi's bedroom should be unlocked now. Can't wait. There's something about Felix's painting supplies. Something suspicious. Let's ask him about it. There's something about the image of Flora in the painting. Something suspicious. Let's ask her about it. We spoke to Hawkshaw. I assume she didn't get anything out of you either. I bet that really ticked her off. We met Felix, your husband. He's one of our suspects, and he seems pretty suspicious if you ask me. So, if you want to stick up for him, now's your chance. Nice try. We spoke to your daughter, Fifi. She's some kind of super intelligent scientist. You must be proud of her. Do you and Fitz have anything to do with each other? Other than your initials.
What do you think of your husband's hobby? Do you have any hobbies? You haven't seen this yet, have you? It's a little model of you. Who are the other people next to you? This is a photo of Fifi, isn't it? Your daughter? Have you seen this book before? Do you know who it belongs to? I really thought she was going to say something there. So, this painting, specifically that knife in Flora's hand... Yeah, it's creepy. But we didn't find a knife anywhere in the room. So, what's going on? It's not a knife. We need a clue to compare with the painting. Something to explain what that knife shape actually is. We'll get to that in a minute. Let's take a closer look at this. The painted knife is actually just a feather from an ink dip bird. It's definitely the right shape, but the book's not in color. The thing Flora's holding in the painting is red and white, specifically. Is there anything to suggest that the ink dip bird is red and white too? This little thing? I don't understand why Felix would make a model of this bird as part of a gift for Flora. And come to think of it, why would Flora be holding a feather in the painting anyway? Flora's pet, so she kept a single feather to remember it by. She kept the bird as a pet, and it died? Maybe. Maybe it flew away. Flora spends all her time staring out the window. Either way, she kept the feather. I think it was pretty important to her. All right. So she was holding the feather while Freya was painting her. But where is it now? You'd think she'd keep it somewhere close by. Yeah, I think she does. Normally. This is where Flora usually keeps her feather. That we opened it. It's empty. Mm-hmm. Completely empty. Flora? She's pointing at something in the corner of the room. It's just a pile of books. They're not... Wait, there's something tucked inside this one.
I like these drawings, Flora. Is there a reason why you wanted us to see them? Cool vibrations. My daughter Fiona, our little burgeoning genius. <laughs> You've met her? We did. She's going by Fifi these days. So I've heard. I asked her some weeks ago, what's wrong with your real name? She told me, <laughs> get this, she wanted a name with an even number of syllables. <laughs> She makes up the strangest things when she's under pressure. What makes you think she made that up? I happen to know the real reason she prefers Fifi over Fiona. Oh yeah? It's what Freya called her. That's one of Freya's paintings, is it not? It's impressive, uh, but a little miserable for my tastes. My daughter Fiona and her best friend, they grow up so fast. Do you know why it's ripped like that? Ah, yes. I didn't even notice. No idea. Where did you find that? It was in the library. Really? How odd. These drawings are quite precious. I'm surprised Flora let you see them. What happened to the bird? Did it die? I don't know. Seems likely though, doesn't it? So, about this paint we found in your room? Nothing suspicious about it. I used it to, to paint, obviously. Totally normal thing to do. We never said it was suspicious. Come on then, out with it. What exactly are you accusing me of? It's not your paint bot. Did you take it from somewhere else? What on earth? It's definitely mine. I even have proof. Look, the lid matches the ones on all my other paint pots. End of discussion. That's not the end of the discussion. We need a clue to compare with Felix's red paint. Something to prove who it actually belongs to. That almost makes sense, but it's not right. Let's take a closer look at this.
Freya's red paint pot is exactly the same as Felix's red paint pot, but the lids were swapped to hide it. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Freya's red paint pot is exactly the same as Felix's red paint pot and used as the murder weapon. No. Nope. Freya's red paint pot is exactly the same as Felix's red paint pot and used as the murder weapon. That's not right. Freya's red paint pot was stolen and replaced with Felix's red paint pot. But Freya noticed what has happened. Almost. Maybe just change one thing. Freya's red paint pot was stolen and replaced with Felix's red paint pot. But the lids were swapped to hide it. That red paint is from Freya's supplies, not yours. Swapping the lids doesn't hide what you did. Why are you bothering me about paint anyway? And none of this is connected to your murder. This red paint pot was somehow filled with blood before Freya used it to paint Flora. Oh, that, uh, that's definitely something. Right, fine. Here's the story. I was busy working on uh, a project when I suddenly realized I had run out of red paint. There was a certain amount of uh, the time pressure. So I politely asked Freya if I could borrow hers. Just for a little while, you know, perfectly reasonable request. But she said no. I tried to explain why I needed it, but she didn't seem to care. So, uh, well, I took Freya's red paint pot and swapped it with my own empty one. You went into her room? Not my proudest moment. Uh, but it's just paint. I didn't touch anything else. And the paint pot you left behind was definitely empty? Uh, quite. I have absolutely no idea how it got blood in it, if that's what you're asking. Why were you in such a hurry to get a hold of red paint anyway? I was trying to finish this in time for Flora's birthday. I needed red to paint the final details. Could you not have just used a different color? Out of the question. It had to be red and white. If you managed to finish it, why haven't you given it to Flora yet? Nah, uh, well, I decided against it in the end. After what happened, seemed a bit uh, insensitive. chalkboard. Is this a library or a classroom? Math equations. Don't look at them for too long. 
you'll give yourself a headache. Any idea what this means? Not a clue. I'm not sure I learned anything from that. Freya drew these. Yeah, I think so. There's a note on the back. But she never showed them to me. Well, I think it was a gift for your mother. Like a private thing between Freya and Flora. What's that big book on the desk? Looks like something Fifi's been writing. Is it a clue? I hope not. It's just a bunch of notes about her microbiology experiments. Fifi's got something pinned up here. What is all this? And that's you, Sally. What? I do not look like that. Do I? Is that supposed to be me? Why do I look so angry? That's just the face you make when you're thinking. It does make you wonder, though. When did Fifi draw all this? Is Fifi trying to solve the mystery with math equations? Maybe. Did you ever try that? Maybe it works. Did you notice who isn't on here? Freya? Mm-hmm. And Fifi herself. That's a whole lot of books. It looks like a microscope. A big one. Can I touch it? Uh, I'm not sure this is a microscope.
that's the one. Hey, not bad. Sounds like it unlocked. Yeah, it's built on top of a little metal box. There's a book in here. book. My book. And what's in it? Pages. doesn't like me. What did you do? I'm not sure. If you find out, maybe you can let me know. Felix is a contradiction. His loyalties are placed firmly within the realm of materialism, money, property. But his ego relies on an entirely fraudulent self-image, don't you think? Ah, uh, I was just about to say the same thing. Felix made that? Huh. That's quite sweet, really. Freya's best work, in my opinion. Although, the photo doesn't carry the same energy as the real thing. What do you think it's a painting of? What do you mean? Like, what's the subject matter? What's that big red thing? Oh, I don't think it's that kind of painting. It's Fifi and Freya. Don't you think Poppy should be in the photo, too? Maybe. Maybe not. She doesn't really like crowds. Two people isn't a crowd. Right, but if she was in the photo, then it'd be three. Check mate. Penelope knows about birds. You should ask her instead. Actually, I wanted to ask you about something. There's a plant mentioned on this page, see? Do you have any? In the greenhouse? No, I don't grow that anymore. I've tried, in the past. It's incredibly difficult, even for me. I could never get it to live more than a couple of weeks. Did Freya draw these? Yeah. There's a note in the back, too. She was even closer to Flora than I realized. Looks like someone doesn't want you to read that book. That's the main thing making me want to read it. Considerably intelligent, and her powers of observation are enviable. But she has no ambition. No focus. In her defense, she's still a teenager. Barely. Did you get anything useful out of him? Not sure. What about you? Nothing worth committing to paper. I think he knows more than he lets on. Probably. But talking with him is so tedious. I admit, it's powerful. Freya was a talented young woman. Someone even liked it enough to take a photo of it. Now, we don't know why they took the photograph, do we? Perhaps they just wanted it for reference. A photograph of Freya could be important. A book from the library. One of hundreds, no doubt. What makes this one special? It's about birds. Yes, I see that. Hmm. Does Flora still own that bird? Do you know? Don't think so. The drawings are from a few years ago. I see. A diary. 
Have you read it? Not yet. It's locked. And you haven't attempted to force it open? That would be cheating. 